Hi there, and uh, welcome to my assessment two presentation. In this presentation, I will be um, highlighting my chosen pathway for level six study, and a lot of ideas and literature review and methodology of how I'm going to conduct my my chosen study. <clears throat> so my choice of pathway and just justification to why I chose this is a business plan why I chose a business plan so my over my time at university I've undergone modules such as sports sponsorship and marketing communications and due to those I would love to develop my ideas and passion towards my own sports business involving areas of these topics after doing these modules and starting to see what I want to do. A business plan would fit exactly my thoughts and ideas into a business that I'd like to build and create. During my time at university, it has also helped me think of ideas and business ventures that I want to build now and later on in life, such as the image that is shown here. This is uh, an idea that I've already started and want to build on, um, which is based around my own sports agency and talent management group which is uh, where a lot of my past modules can come in, which um, is marketing communications and, and sponsorship. So my aims and objectives. So an aim um, of my business plan is to set out the idea and main purpose of the business, highlighting what the business needs to, needs to know and understand to grow and become successful. An objective, the objective is to gain an understanding of the business I am, I am to start and see how I will benefit myself and others. Financially, will I be able to make money and will I be able to keep a steady growth of the business through my research and conducting the work? So this part of, business of, of the presentation is a theoretical and industrial rationale. So why is my business important? <clears throat> it's important to highlight every part of my business and understand my audience and business aims. The business plan will understand what the business what it needs to do to be successful and grow. And to understand my market it is very important. <clears throat> As for a business, it needs to work around exactly what the market needs and financially be clear on the business's potential income and outgoings see whether it can be sustainable. <clears throat> Type of stakeholders with my business plan. One would be consumers, people that, are, that will buy into the service that the business has to offer. Two, recipients. Three, three which is based around my, my, my actual business idea, which is agencies and marketing, is uh, business promoters. Any businesses that may take interest in my idea and could work with in the future it is very it's, it, a business plan would be very important for those guys to see exactly how how my business has been set and where I feel through my research will will take my business further and ideally interest them in working with me and lastly is uh, athletes and a sporting associations. The type of business I plan to build is based around these athletes and not just with sports but also out of sports like like I said earlier, a talent management group which works with not just sporting athletes but it could be musicians, TV stars and movie stars. <clears throat> now into an important part of, of the presentation which is my uh, literature review. Uh, a business plan can be very useful for all up and coming businesses. As stated by D Dakis in 2021, business plans help lay out the goals of a business and, fin and financial outcomes and the needs of the business. It's important to lay out a detailed plan to see how the business will start, will start and stay sustainable with financial details. In a recent article by Small Business Chronicle in 2021, they state that a business plan should provide you with every detail and about the business and the hard, clear facts of the business. 
that makes the business strong. How would one do a business plan? A business plan should be built from the basics of the idea, understanding what the business is and what market the business intends to enter. On the gov.co.uk website, it shows exactly what a business plan needs to need and how it should be staged. Starting off by clarifying the business, which is what business I want to do, what area like market I want to enter. And two is uh, then understanding the problems that my business might face. So this can be many things. This can be how my business will will start, what funding that my business needs, um, identifying how I can reach potential customers, how I'm going to grow from the start and and gain in my in my um in my sense how I'm going to gain athletes or people to work with. Um, three is setting the goals for the business. So that's uh, obviously <clears throat> what your business wants for for now in the time period. So what you want to do to start the business, how you intend to grow and meeting those goals, how you're going to meet those goals through your time with the business. And lastly, measuring the progress of the business. In the plan, obviously you want to see exactly where... <clears throat> see exactly where you start with the business and how you measure your progress which is seeing if you're actually building and, re- and gaining profit from it and it's, it's, it's progressing or if you're not pro if you're not making any progress with the business and it's not growing how can you do that how can you start measuring what you're doing and intend to grow so if you're not growing how can you measure it and start to start to build up and, 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 and gain that successfulness of the business that you intended to have at the start. Inside the business plan will be sections based on the business's finances. This will be an important part of the plan that should be shown and researched in depth. It can help identify the business's future and current finances, helping understand whether the business will be making money from its services and understanding what the business needs to do in order to meet its financial goals in the future, helping it stay strong and reliable to its stakeholders. So uh, this is the the methodology of, of the business plan. Market research. Market research is very important in order to understand the type of market the business aims to enter and how the market is operating in that moment of time. Mixed methodology research would be the best way to understand the business's market and see exactly what the consumers want. Stated by George in 2022, mixed method research combines elements of quantitative research and qualitative research in order to answer your research question. Mixed methods can help you gain a more complete picture of a standalone quantitative or qualitative study as it integrates benefits from both methods. This type of methodology will help will help my business essentially as it can <clears throat> as it can show exactly what the consumers want from a business and it can help build the business to fit the needs of its audience. Results from any market research will create an understanding for businesses to see exactly how they can keep their customers happy and how they can add to the plan they originally had so it stands out to more. Any any market research such as mixed methodology research, this one especially can help you in many ways, conducting uh, interviews, questionnaires, and these will give you very clear very clear answers exactly how your consumers may want will want from business such as yours um research is is obviously such a huge thing as it can help back exactly what your business is doing and it give you ideas to help you grow in the in the future this is my reference list and thank you for listening